Hi, this is Mike Rougeau, I'm Playboy.com's gaming editor, and we're here in London, courtesy of Assassin's Creed developer Ubisoft. We're checking out some London landmarks, we're playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and we're seeing what it's all... Ah! All right, gamers, we are in probably one of the coolest locations for any sort of gameplay that I have ever seen in my entire life. The first thing that we did when we got to London was play the game in this really sweet old abandoned warehouse. It was a really great location to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate because it kind of helped you feel the urban elements of the game. They even had this horse-drawn carriage that was restored. It looked really cool. This is the first time that I've ever played Syndicate. Ready to go. It is a great game. I got to spend a lot of time with it. They give you the option to play as a girl and they change the play style based on what gender you choose to play. You could play as Evie and kind of go for a little bit more of a stealth style, which is something that I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, I like being a little bit more sneaky and I also like playing a girl because, you know, I'm a girl. You and I are both gonna be just as excited when the game comes out because I didn't play everything so we can go on a fun gaming adventure together. I also had an opportunity to sit down with the historian that they brought on staff to make sure that everything was copacetic. Once you're trying to recreate 150 years ago, suddenly you need to know all of these really weird little things. Do you hope to work on more video games in the future? Oh god yes! <laughs> it's the best job I've ever had. See, video games are really fun. Even historians say so. On the first night we also got to tour the streets of London at night to kind of get a creepy feel and the vibe of 19th century London. It was uh, kind of scary. Uh, fortunately, we had a guide to kind of point out the places where people got murdered. <laughs> Fun. The following morning, we got to actually go on a double-decker bus. The first time I've ever been on a double-decker bus where we spent the entire day touring all fun parts of London. London is seriously one of the prettiest places I've ever visited, especially from an architectural standpoint. The time and consideration that went into every single building is astounding. Check that out. It's so freaking cool. That's not scary at all. He seems really, really fidgety for a guy who's supposed to be a guard that's standing still. We also scooted past Westminster Abbey, and you can climb on that stuff in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Big Ben is looking majestic as f It's a good day. Right, Mike? Yeah! I said, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna run the f down on those pigeons. Pigeon patties. Chasing pigeons. Chasing pigeons. Chasing pigeons. And what's really fun is going back through, like having played the game first and now touring London, seeing the parts of the game that I actually did not get to uh, explore. So now I just see buildings that I just wanna climb. That one's got plenty of posts. Oh, hey, check it out. Leap of faith off a of big bend, guys. Into a hay bale. Woo! We went on a little mini adventure down the Thames. We rode on a boat uh, on our way to the Tower of London. And while we were doing that, I got to interview Jonathan Dumont, who is the world designer for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Are there any like secret elements to the game that you guys are really excited to implement? The cat lady in the game. There's there's a woman lost somewhere in the game, and there's like nine cats around her, and she's like, ah! <laughs> I'm a crazy cat lady! <laughs> Find the cat lady. What made you guys decide to choose London? I found it super interesting because it was sort of the foundation of modern society. And visually, it's pretty stunning. And we ended up with having a, a, around 30 known landmarks in the game. Are you are you happy? Are you excited? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm excited. And we've been working very hard, the whole team, the whole studio, approached it with a passion and, you know, like, really trying to make something outstanding. And I'm really proud of what we're I made a lot of really cool friends, one of them including Jobless Garrett, who is also going to be on one of our Mansion Game Night videos. After we hopped off the boat, we finally arrived at the world famous Tower of London. I got to explore the inside of an actual castle. We got to see really cool things like replicas of armor, artillery, really cool swords. That is one ugly lion. History at the Tower of London. We were one of the very fortunate few who got to go on a tour inside of Buckingham Palace. They only tour six weeks out of the year. I have Rue Bear, my traveling bear. We are together in the gardens at Buckingham Palace. Three years ago, I never, I had never flown on a plane. 
and now I'm at Buckingham Palace, traveling the world, playing video games for a living. I am super thankful for the life that I live today, and I am super thankful, and I thank you guys for making this possible for me. Thank you so much to Ubisoft for bringing Mike and I out to tour London and play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Make sure you guys pick up your copy. It comes out October 23rd for PS4 and Xbox One. Until next time, guys, game on is actually the fact that you Playboy kind of playmates who are gamers? I'm not listening to a word these girls are saying. This is too good to be true. You can be super tall 